Hello everybody, Paul Richards here. And in this video, Tess, how are you controlling that camera? <gasps> Funny you should ask, Paul. I'm using my nifty X keys from PI Engineering. Um, they can integrate perfectly for PTZ Optics camera control via vMix. And we're gonna show you how with this little tutorial. Cool, so you can control the pan tilt zoom of our cameras yeah. with almost any USB device. So let's go ahead and show what we're gonna use today. So first of all, we're gonna use vMix, uh, and we're gonna use IP control with a PTZ Optics camera. So we're gonna use vMix, PTZ Optics, and we're going to use X keys. We are going to use the X keys 24. Mm -hmm. And there's another really important tool that we're using here. This actually works perfectly with the USB 2 Air, which our sister company, Huddlecam HD, has just brought yes. out for you guys. So this is going to provide a wireless USB connection. So Tess, can you just show us that stuff real quick? Sure, so here are my X keys. There's 24 keys on it that I've had set up. This is just my basic initial setup. Um, and we have it plugged into our wireless transmitter. Here's the device, which is carrying the signal over to our PC that has the host. Um, so basically we have power, of course, and then we have our USB 2 plug plugged in here. Just to tell everyone really quickly how much everything roughly costs, you do need to purchase the vMix 4K version, which has PTZ control. The regular HD versions do not include PTZ control, so that's the first thing you have Important to get. Important note. PTZ Optics cameras starting at just $15.99. It has to be plugged into the network. PI Engineering products. Um, I actually don't know how much this X Keys 24 this cost. is their basic buttons. I Looks believe. like $150 so roughly. Yeah, not bad. $129 at BNH Photo. And then the wireless USB 2.0 Air, which is completely optional, is $299. So that's how everything is being set up here. And let's go ahead and show a tutorial on how all this works. So first, let's start with our camera input. So let's go ahead over I'm here. I'm just going to try and hold this up is, for you guys This is our well. camera input here. So I'm going to make this full screen. So this is our vMix input, and there's a PTZ tab here. And what you have to do is get the IP address of the camera, that um, the PTZ Optics camera that you're looking to use. And we have a little IP address settings tool here. You can go ahead and click search. And this camera right here, 192.168.111.86, is the camera that uh, we're going to use today. So we've typed that into... Um, right here, we've typed that into vMix and we hit connect. So now we can pan and tilt and zoom the camera. And Tess can do so as well. But we haven't shown how to do that part yet. Oh, anyway. I thought that's what you were <laughs> that's trying okay. to do. That's <laughs> okay. No, so I'm that's just, the PTZ I'm getting control. overexcited. That needs to be done. And all of these uh, triggers, if, or they're actually shortcuts, can be added to the X keys 24 right there and Tess, it looks like you've actually kind of customized this X keys a little bit. Yes, so um, Dan over at X keys, Dan Slider was nice enough to send us these cute little pictures. So when we want to switch to my camera, just press my face and we want to switch to Paul's camera, we press his face. But I had a little bit of fun in the beginning hand drawing things. Here's our stinger for transitions, our lightning round, our chat room and our giveaway clip. And then he also provides you um, with some custom What's the word I'm looking for? With just buttons like yeah. the arrows, numbers, A, B, C, D, the whole alphabet, um, which is really helpful. So once that's done, we're going to go over here into the settings bar, and you have to go to shortcuts. And Tess has already set up move up, down, yeah, left, that, and that, right. Yeah, that's what we have so far is just the pan and tilt. Um, so the first thing to note, and Tess, let's just delete moving up and we'll redo it okay yeah that's good just, just to, to just show just the one example so we've already got here. down right and left but we need to add up so what we do is we add we hit the add button and then we hit the find button and Tess goes ahead and hits whatever key it button. is that you want to use in this case it's what i've labeled up now go ahead so down. Tess is holding down the up button but go ahead and just let it go for a second see how the velocity went to zero mm -hmm. that's the release key so there's a, every button really has two functions, down and release. So hold it down again, and you see the velocity is 127. So that's, this is what we want it to do. So you want to keep holding 
through until you press OK. Yes, okay. exactly. And the function, we just go down to the PTZ tab here, and we're going to hit, we're going to do move up, right? Move up and hit OK. So now currently, if we were to use this without adding a stop function, moving up would just keep moving up, and if Tesla uh, clicked off the button, it would still move up. It would just move to the top, to the max capacity. Yeah. So what we need to do now is go to the add, hit find. Now this time, go ahead and let go. Velocity is zero. Okay. That when it when it, the key is let go, we want the PTZ function to stop. So we want to use sense. PTZ move stop and OK. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and give it a try. So here's the up button that we had just programmed. So it should move the camera up, and when there I release, it stops moving. Now we already have down set, so I'll move it back down. Now what we don't have is um, we need to have um, zoom in and out for you. So let's do that last, um, and we should have pan, tilt, and zoom for everything. So let's go ahead and awesome. add, find. I'm going to hold it down. OK. And then function PTZ zoom in. This is the zoom in, right? Mm -hmm. OK. All right. And now this time we're going to do the lip, the key So lift. it's the same idea as um, the moving functions. You have to set a start and a stop. Exactly. Okay. So that's our zoom out. And then there's this PTZ zoom stop. And now we go ahead and do the zoom out. OK, function, PTZ, zoom out. And these can be set to any key you'd like. They're all essentially blank to start, correct? Yeah, they're all blank. And, and just it's imagine very custom. You, you can do this with just a regular keyboard, but usually you want to you want to use your keyboard for something else. Yes, for typing. So go ahead and that. try that. All right, so let's zoom in. We're already pretty zoomed in, so I have to zoom out first. There we Our go. Our camera was already zoomed in as much as possible, so there you go. And zoom in. it's stopping when I want zoom to. Zoom out. Perfecto. Yay. Thank you, Tess. No problem. That is our um, video. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and taking the time. I hope that is helpful. We had a lot of customers setting up pan tilt zoom control this way, and we threw in the wireless USB 2 just for the heck of it. Yeah, and thank you, Dan, over at PI Engineering for setting us up with these. All right. Well, this has been a conclusion. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.